Biblical Figures, Aaron Aaron was the older brother of Moses and Miriam, and the first high priest of the Israelites. He was born in Egypt, where his people were enslaved by the Pharaoh. He had a gift of eloquence, and God chose him to be the spokesman of Moses, who was not confident in his speech. Aaron joined Moses in confronting the Pharaoh and demanding the release of the Israelites. He performed signs and wonders by the power of God, such as turning his staff into a snake and bringing plagues upon the land of Egypt. He also helped Moses to lead the people out of Egypt and across the Red Sea, where God parted the waters and drowned the pursuing Egyptians. Aaron was with Moses when they received the law from God at Mount Sinai. He was appointed as the head of the priesthood and was given special garments and instructions on how to serve God in the tabernacle. He was also responsible for teaching the people the commandments and the rituals of worship. However, Aaron was not perfect. He made mistakes and sinned against God. One of his biggest failures was when he gave in to the pressure of the people, who grew impatient and restless while Moses was on the mountain. They asked Aaron to make them a god to worship, and he complied by making a golden calf out of their jewelry. He even built an altar for it and proclaimed a feast to the Lord. This angered God, who wanted to destroy the people, but Moses interceded for them and persuaded God to spare them. Aaron also faced the wrath of Moses, who broke the tablets of the law, burned the calf, and made the people drink its ashes. Aaron confessed his sin and asked for forgiveness. Another time, Aaron and Miriam spoke against Moses because of his Cushite wife. They also questioned his authority and claimed that they too were prophets of God. God heard their complaint and summoned them to the tabernacle. He rebuked them for their pride and envy, and affirmed that Moses was his chosen servant, who spoke with him face to face. He also struck Miriam with leprosy, as a punishment for her rebellion. Aaron realized his mistake, and begged Moses to pray for Miriam. Moses did so, and God healed her after seven days. Aaron also faced some challenges and tragedies in his life. He had to deal with the complaints and rebellions of the people, who often grumbled and doubted God's provision and guidance. He also had to face the death of his two sons, Nadab and Abihu, who offered unauthorized fire before the Lord, and were consumed by fire from God. Aaron was not allowed to mourn for them but had to continue his service as a priest. Aaron died at the age of 123, on Mount Hor, near the border of Edom. God told Moses to take Aaron and his son Eliezer to the mountain, and to strip Aaron of his priestly garments, and put them on Eliezer. This was a sign of transferring the priesthood to the next generation. Aaron then died on the mountain, and Moses and Eliezer came down. The whole community mourned for Aaron for thirty days. Aaron was a man of faith and courage, who followed God and supported his brother. He was also a man of flaws and failures, who sinned and repented. He was the founder of the Levitical priesthood, and the ancestor of many priests and prophets. He was a significant figure in the history of Israel and in the story of God's salvation.